Hello. In this video, we are going to derive a relationship between the internal energy U and the canonical ensemble partition function Q. We begin with an important relationship between the Helmholtz energy A and the canonical ensemble partition function Q. In this relationship, K here is the Boltzmann constant and T is the thermodynamic temperature. I have not yet shown a video where we derive this particular relationship. Such a video is coming soon. Next, we recall that the differential of A of the Helmholtz energy is equal to minus S dt minus P dV, where S is the entropy, T is the thermodynamic temperature, P is the pressure, and V is the volume. This is the relationship for a closed system. Next, we want to find the derivative of the Helmholtz energy A with respect to the temperature, keeping the volume constant. So we can get it from this particular expression. If uh, the volume is constant, then dV is equal to zero. So we simply have that this uh, derivative is minus the entropy. So we get that from the second equation here. But now we can also find the derivative with respect to the temperature by differentiating the above expression. And if we do that, we get that it's equal to minus k, so we'll just pull the constant out in front, times the temperature, times the derivative of the natural log of the canonical ensemble partition function Q plus the natural log of Q. where we've used the product rule that we have two functions, the first function being the temperature and the second being the natural log of Q. So we've used the product rule to find uh, the, the derivative of A with respect to the temperature at constant volume. Multiplying through by the minus K Boltzmann constant gives us that the negative of the entropy is equal to minus kT, uh, the partial derivative of the natural log of Q with respect to T, minus K times the natural log of Q. Next, we multiply each side by a minus T, the temperature, so that gives us all positive values, which helps it. And we have Ts on the left-hand side is equal to kT squared times the natural log of the canonical ensemble partition function Q with respect to the temperature plus KT times the natural log of Q. Now, one thing which we notice in our first line here is that this KT natural log of Q with a minus sign is equal to the Helmholtz free energy. So that tells us that the positive KT times the natural log of Q is equal to the negative of the Helmholtz energy. So this second term here is now simply equal to minus A. So let's write down what we have here. So we have that T times the entropy is equal to k t squared times the natural log of the canonical ensemble partition function q minus the Helmholtz energy a. Next, we recall by definition that the Helmholtz energy a is equal to the internal energy u minus the temperature times the entropy. So by a mild rearrangement of this equation, adding Ts to each side, 
we get that A plus TS is equal to the internal energy U. And we're going to need this fact in two more steps. Let us take our result in this particular equation and simply add the Helmholtz energy A to each side. And let's see what we get. So on the left hand side we're going to get A plus temperature times the entropy Ts and this is equal to the Boltzmann constant K times the temperature squared times the natural log derivative uh, derivative of the natural log of Q respect to the temperature. Now we compare this result to our recollection here that we can rearrange this equation in such a way that this A plus TS term is simply equal to the internal energy. Therefore, since we have A plus TS here, we can replace this simply as the internal energy U. This gives us our desired result our relationship between the internal energy U and the canonical ensemble partition function Q, that U is equal to KT squared times the derivative of the natural log of Q with respect to T. I thank you very much for your attention. As always, have a good one.